Today's advanced video topic is going to be about something called submixes. Now, submixes are essentially mechanisms to allow you to manage multiple mixes to multiple sources. For example, having different volumes for your chat, music, game, and system for your headphones, but having completely different volumes for those sources to your stream. Philosophically, we are not totally in love with the idea for GoXLR specifically because it creates something that streamers gave us feedback that they didn't want. Ambiguity between what their stream hears, and what the streamer is hearing, and therefore creating for less production value and less uh, finer produced mixes and streams. However, we did include some really cool tips for you, including mute modes and the routing table to still allow you to have some independence about what your stream hears and what you hear. But if that's not for you and you're like, John, I need submix even in the most simple form. Well, this is the video for you. A few asterisks. As with any of my advanced videos that show you what are possible outside of the realms of what we've really designed GoXLR to do, I'm not here to support you in doing that. My own personal philosophy is if you can't figure out submixes from this video, you shouldn't be using submixes. It's a hard truth, but I'm sticking to it. As long as I've opened your idea, opened your mind to the framework, you should have no problem implementing and tweaking this however you want. The second thing is, is that this is really optimal for a one PC streaming setup, but on two, it can be weird. You can only use it on a two PC setup if GoXLR is on your streaming PC and only if you're sub mixing one of the USB audio channels that we created for you. That's chat, music, game, system, and samples. For example, your gaming PC audio is going to be coming through line in. You can't create a submix of that in a two PC setup using Go XLR. Here's the good news. Creating a submix is actually really easy. Right now, you hear my music at this volume. It's a little bit louder than I would normally keep it, but you and I hear it at exactly the same volume. As soon as I uncheck music, you don't hear music anymore in the stream, but I still hear it in my headphones. So this music slider is just my own personal mix for music now. So what if I want music to be a different volume to my stream? It's simple. I go to the file settings, audio menu in OBS, and I add desktop audio device. I just add music. Now this is going to get loud. So I'm letting you know now in three, two, one. There we go, that should be a lot better now. So now you'll notice that I'm listening to music in my headphones and I've got it cranked right now, really loud. But you can't actually hear that difference because your music is coming through separately in OBS. Now, obviously you can't exactly hear how loud or quiet that is. You just have this visual indication to know uh, how loud it is and go, oh, okay, it's about negative 40 to negative 45 decibels, but you'd actually have to go back and listen to the stream to know if that's a good volume. Whereas what I'm hearing in my headphones, I know immediately that's too loud. That's too quiet. You also notice that whatever I touch with the fader doesn't change it for the OBS at all. This is because we use pre fader audio stems. It's great for post-production, but also has advantages here in the sense that you're getting 100% volume of Spotify and I just lowered it down to be about where you would want to listen to it in a live mix. So now you've made it. So your GoXLR fader is just for you. Your OBS fader is just for stream. Works great. The same concept works for game. So you're playing a game. You want it louder for you, quieter for your stream. You remove game from the broadcast stream mix routing table. You add game as its own desktop audio device here. And now you manage game for yourself on Go XLR and game for your stream in OBS. That's all you need to do it. 
works pretty straightforward and yeah it, it's nice and i will admit for one source it's relatively easy to manage the biggest thing is forgetting to mute your game audio when you don't want it to be heard and that can be kind of an extra thing but if you do this for let's say you're like well i'm going to do that for game and music and chat it starts to get really annoying to manage everything at once and you start just never touching your audio levels on your go xlr or, or obs and then you're like well why did i get this thing so anyways that's it that's my advanced tutorial for you hope it was helpful uh you can ask questions about the setup in the comments below but like i said if you can't understand it from this video and you're on playing around i would strongly encourage you to not assume that you need sub mixes to be a great streamer because most of the top streamers actually all the top streamers on twitch using go xlr aren't using sub mixes right now and they're a lot better at games most likely than you and i see you next time